three, two, one. Welcome, Welcome back. back. <laughs> it's Mission Dips. <laughs> Sounds first. Hey yo, get up. <laughs> okay. Hello everybody. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Of course, you already know it's Mesh and Devs in the building once again. So we're going to be having a playlist on our YouTube channel that is specifically dedicated to our marriage process in Germany. If this is your first time watching our video on YouTube or anywhere, if you've been a subscriber, kudos to you. If you're watching for the first time, please subscribe because this is the first of many episodes to come in our process. And in this first episode, I'm glad you're able to watch it or catch it. We would be talking about how we got married in Germany under one year. Well, I mean, plus or minus one year. So they, you give them a rundown of the timeline. So basically, we're just, like he said, we're just gonna run down through it, say a few mm -hmm. words. Um, so basically our uh, process started with making an appointment at Lagos Embassy 2022 the 28th of June the 28th of June uh 2022 true. yeah that was when I made an appointment with the German Embassy mm -hmm. Lagos yeah true mm -hmm. so we're going to talk more about that in depth because this part this part is very essential for this process to be smooth oh, yeah. I would say mm -hmm. well at least in our case it was so you know we'll get into that then moving on, September 2022, I went to Nigeria. Yeah, <laughs> and we met for the first for time. For the first time, you know, I mm -hmm. went to visit her, you know. We were already in a relationship dating mm -hmm. for two years. Two years. And she eventually came to Nigeria for the first time. First time for two weeks. we met for the first time. Yeah. And we had amazing two weeks. There is a video of that. Please go watch, watch it. That. Yeah, but anyways, while I visited him when I was leaving, mm -hmm. because we had already checked, like, you know, what was needed, documents, checklist, which, again, we're going to talk about that. Um, I took all his documents that was needed for the background check here mm -hmm. in Germany, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's another details to that. Yeah, but mm -hmm. we had a, my background check mm -hmm. done here in Germany. So she yeah. took my documents from Nigeria, brought them to Germany, and submitted them. And Well, wait, and one more. You can mm -hmm. also decide to do the background check in Nigeria. In Nigeria. But for you us... You know how it is. <laughs> for us, we saw it, and everything seems mm -hmm. to be a little bit easier if we just did the background check here since yeah. I was living here. So that's why we went with it. Yeah, so she brought the documents back with her to mm -hmm. Germany. I was then in Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah. And on the 2nd of November, 2022, she had an appointment at the Verbandsgemeinde. And That's she submitted, city. yeah, the city hall mm -hmm. uh, here in Germany. And she submitted those documents right. for the background check. And yeah. then they arrived in Nigeria at the, uh, at the consulate embassy on the mm -hmm. 7th of November. So... It was like what almost a week five days it took um, yeah for the city hall here in germany to process everything put them together yeah. send them to nigeria and the very moment it got to nigeria we were lucky enough to be informed that our documents yeah. arrived in nigeria and i was excited you know yeah we were we were gonna <laughs> okay process, process and know. then mm -hmm. because the documents okay so the documents were sent to nigeria for the background check, but it was authorized from Germany. From Germany. So it did go back to Nigeria, but it had to be authorized to the city hall here. That's why, because, you know, mm -hmm. they were like, why if it's back in Nigeria? But it mm -hmm. was authorized to the Germans, you know. So sent back there and then to do background check on him. And then it was a bit silent, you know, for I mean, a few months. I mean, we were hoping that the whole thing would have been carried out you know the background check with the lawyer mm -hmm. carried out the same year 2022 but at some point when it was dragging along we said you know what we submitted in november and we know it just don't happen like that and because it was towards the end of the year we said oh it's probably going to start the whole background check thing with the lawyer you know like after the holidays after the holiday, they the probably Christmas wouldn't want to start year. we're right. coming up with different theories like they probably don't mm -hmm. want to start before the holiday and break it up and mind you guys the background check takes i think six to eight months yeah. it varies depending on your case it could take shorter it could take longer i don't even think ours took actually up to six months no i think it was like didn't. four yeah. i don't know well that's actually a lie it took time for the lawyer to come and then mm -hmm. time again for the background check. So if you put it together, it kind of actually was 
Do you well, know what but, I mean? Yeah, but we did like a plus of my mi- plus and minus, you know, taking away that November to December time frame and we calculated the time it took for the background check from when the lawyer contacted me that he was going to do the background check and this was on the 16th of January 2023 yeah. now. That's when we heard back after the 7th mm-hmm. of November we heard back 16th of January. Yeah. 2023. Yeah, so the oh, lawyer yeah. called me he was a nice man. I'm not going to say his name, you know, <laughs> and all of that, but he was a nice, yeah, he was a nice person. He told me, you know, his um, itinerary, you know, where he would be going to. He started off with, like, my school, primary school in Lagos. You know, he went to the place I submitted documents. You know, he did his check, his findings and all of that. And then he actually came to my workplace to visit me and my work colleague you know he also had like a one-on-one section and all of that and yeah he did the background check traveled and all of that and then what was the next thing and then it was silent (laughs) (laughs) that's true yeah cold silence it was silent for the longest time i feel that was like no mm, let me know like there were times even if it was like one month wait it felt like forever and that's the silence that's another thing we're going to talk about more details what you know his background check yeah yeah what he had to do and all of that stuff but one thing you should know that uh as at the embassy the city hall Mm -hmm. embassy they don't want you contacting them about the status of your background check they don't want you to contact them so that was also a thing they told us like twice like please don't Don't reach out because we're not Mm -hmm. gonna have no info which they really didn't and on the 4th of may 2023 that was when (laughs) haha the lady at the city hall so you played the, me though. Huh? You sent uh, me a video and all of yeah, that. Yeah, the lady. Me. That <laughs> the was lady, sweet. But. The lady who was handling our case then called me on the fourth of May, mm-hmm. and you know she was like, "Good news, your documents are ready." And I was like, <laughs> and you, "Yeah." I surprised. Her. I didn't tell him. Oh, the back, the you know, papers came back. I just sent him a video and I slapped it on the end of the video that your documents are no longer in Nigeria. But that made my day. <laughs> And anyway, so the lady informed her and I think a couple of days afterwards, she went to the office, you know, took the documents from the lady, sorted them. Now there's another important point, you know, that has to come with document translation. Now the documents I submitted had to be translated, but of course in our own case, we didn't want to bombard them with too many documents. We had to be selective about the documents we translated and so we took the document and on the 29th of june after we had already sent some documents for translation you know um right i'm getting right right Mm -hmm. on the 29th of june 2023 our documents the 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 vital ones were translated and submitted back to the city hall again because we um you forgot to just say that on the 26th of may is mm-hmm. when we got the uh translated documents back oh yeah yeah and then um we so we so once we got the translated documents back we took it to the city hall and then the city hall had to send that document to another office mm-hmm. for approval so that is what came back on the uh 29th right of june mm, no Oh, Jesus, we messing it up. <laughs> Anyways, on. like we said, we have it written down. So one minute, let's quickly just go through it again. We just went through everything in this little glitch. Just yeah. There's a little glitch in our information. <laughs> actually, we actually forgot to note down. So when we got the translated version back of our documents, mm-hmm. we submitted it maybe like a day or two later. And then it took about like maybe two or something weeks for it to come back approved yeah once it comes back approved on the 29th of mm-hmm. june now is when i went for the marriage registration fast forward the 20th of july we got well he got an appointment from the embassy, embassy? Yeah. Fine. like huh, y'all just if you guys listened to the timeline everything that had to do with germany stopped like the 29th of june 
and now that's everything when everything was now in nigeria you know the process right, you right. know started properly i mean what starting this process of from june 2022 and in july 2023 getting an appointment mail for august 10th 2023 mm -hmm. and i went for the interview of course um and after a while we thought oh after interview you know it's gonna take two weeks three weeks the embassy is gonna write me and request for my passport and all of that for the visa stamp and all of that but nope how do you say psych psych on the 8th of september after having an appointment 10th of august on the 8th of september the embassy wrote me that i need to submit my german a1 certificate so my german language a1 certificate which was a requirement after a whole month <laughs> they decided to tell us that one requirement mm. is missing thank you german embassy <laughs> lagos thank you anyways moving forward on the 17th of october now 2023 i took the certificate to the german embassy and submitted like oh you are one of this they gave me a deadline and all of that like i got the a1 certificate and i submitted it on the 17th of october 2023 uh-huh sorry my eyes is, it's allergy season y'all so my eyes is <laughs> itching so bad right yeah. now all right and then on the 30th of october um how do i say this part because i want to say it in the in the video anyways the foreign office in germany then requested for his uh mm -hmm. um for additional documents so exactly. that was also you know, like I'm, a... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what's funny, yeah, or crazy at the time is, okay. So after I went for the interview and all of that, blah 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 blah, they requested for A1. I got it. We submitted. We we thought that was it. That like was it. now, the next email we're gonna get or the next information was to submit the passport for the visa stamp. But no, again, now it was back to her in Germany. The ABH, the foreign office, contacted her or she contacted them something and. There was another request additional documents and i'm like when was y'all gonna tell us this like when it was mm -hmm. too late again like i don't understand because i had to reach out that's mm -hmm. how we even found out but anyways on the 31st i went to the uh foreign office to submit the documents the documents right. that was requested did all of that stuff and then on the first of november he got the approval mail finally <laughs> I'm like, finally, man. What? What? Y'all thought we were going to do it? <laughs> On the first Y'all thought we were going to break us? But I, that's not even the, the key. <laughs> the key is, 2nd of, second of November 2022, mm -hmm. you submitted your documents in Nigeria, so the passport and stuff, 2nd of November 2023. So it was like, exactly, I submitted one year ago, and mm -hmm. then you submitted. Exactly one year. Right. So this is not fluke. We're not, not we're fluke. not messing around. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> second <laughs> October twenty twenty two. She submitted November. Yeah, second November twenty twenty two. Sorry, she submitted second November twenty twenty three. I submitted one year, exactly one year. So Guys. we were in line, and we just love saying that because it just sounds like wow. The but second. it's a miracle <laughs> <laughs> i just had to put that in and we're grateful to god we yeah. don't play with this there's never been a day that we don't appreciate god you know and it's only because if they <laughs> i'm telling y'all if y'all knew this y'all just have to stay tuned because we got a lot to share mm -hmm. god is great that's all i can say he really showed out in this process like anyways <sighs> anyways guys to round it up on the 9th of november 2023 I got the his passport. Yeah, he my got passport. His, he got his passport <laughs> with his visa for three months. <laughs> yep, to Germany. And then the twenty second of November, twenty twenty three, he flew to Germany. Yeah, I took know. that big leap. Oh my gosh, yeah. And now we're here. And now we're here. Married. Married. It sounds easy. It's, I don't want to keep saying it's not you easy. guys stay tuned, but <laughs> you guys do stay tuned because for me, this process is not for the week. That's all mm -mm. we can say. Like you, because it almost—I don't want to say almost broke us, but I want to say it did break us. But and make we, us. Yeah, it tore us apart, but somehow we just bind it back. To, it was like going through a storm, mm. for real. I don't even. Sometimes I don't even know how we made, like how we actually as humans made it. But that's God for you. 
yeah, I can't Eventually, wait to go to tea. Dating for three years and we ended up being reunited, you know, at last. And yeah, it has been an amazing journey so far. It has been. You know, sometimes like. <laughs> Did you ever see that? I said sometimes. <laughs> Y'all know how marriage can be. Yeah, guys. <laughs> but yeah. But if you found a good woman out there, hold her tight. If y'all find a good man, hold him tight. Hold her tight. <laughs> hold him tight. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Hold him tight. Don't break my hand. Even though you can. Okay, I'm just kidding. But anyways, anyway, guys, yeah. thank you all for <laughs> <laughs> frequencies. Anyways, guys, thank you all for staying tuned. We love you all, and more amazing episodes to come. I'm telling you, all, this is a playlist. You don't want to miss out on. No, mission dibs on the come up. No play. No play. Don't play. Don't play. <laughs> don't play. What's it do?